Hello, welcome to Cool Discussions. That's Barry and Chris. What's up? Um, so the Olympics at this point in time have actually wrapped up. So we're trying to tell the future. Yeah. Um, we're talking about it because uh, one, he watches. I don't, and uh, I think what? that because you've actually sat and watched chunks of the Olympics, like hours worth. Pretty much, yeah. Like my um, TV's constantly on the Olympics. Uh, whatever I see in that's all it's on a newspaper, and uh, uh, I think uh, I watched actually watched a highlight the other day, and uh, just other than that, like I I, I only kind of see the headlines for Olympics, and so I'm not seeing a lot of what's going on. So you are, yep, and it's it's interesting, you know. I I like the Olympics. I'm I'm uh, I'm a big supporter. Well, I. I like it and I don't like it um, because um, I like it because it it gives introduces you to new sports, but at the same time, like I'm not gonna watch track and field. No, no. after this, like, oh, I'm not gonna to tune into the world championships because because I don't like it's like whatever. Okay, do do sports networks actually show this stuff? Which one? Uh, like the Olympics? any any of the Olympic sports outside of the Olympics? No, not that I know of. I have no idea. Like ESPN, TSN. Uh, no, nope, do they just show of. hockey and football? Well, this is the weird thing about like TSN. They've got five networks, but four of them show the same damn thing at any given time. You're like, well, what's the point of having five networks? Yeah. I I'm a proponent for um like showing like the track and field world championships. They should put it on TV. Yeah, put it on TV because I would probably tune in. I would for be like, "Oh, that, what's happening?" For that matter, the World CrossFit Championships I've seen on TV, and I don't know if anybody knows what CrossFit is. It's it, literally extreme bodybuilding. But, well, that's that's what I don't understand. They'll put so they'll put that on. Yeah, why won't they put the like the World Check Track and Field Championship? Maybe they do, and I just don't know it hmm? because Maybe. it's not advertised and it's not you know it's not there's no publicity behind it because of probably. Like the last one in 2015, we were in Beijing, so the time difference was like maybe they were on at three in the morning, and I just didn't even know it. You yeah, know? but even then, you just put it on a time delay. Well, that's that's the thing, you know. You could show put it. it on prime time. It's not because like we we look at it, and um, um, we'll look at the track, right? Because that's where we're going. We'll, well, um, this year, Andre de Grasse has kind of staked his claim as, "Hey, I'm the next one." Uh, are you talking about that, uh, uh, the Canadian runner? Yeah. The one who, uh, uh Bolt actually said this guy yeah. might... Is, um, we all know who Usain, Usain Bolt is. He's, yeah. uh, he's, he's, he has now won, um, nine gold medals. Nine. In the past three Olympics. That, so he's won the 100... Over 12 two, years. Yeah, the 100, 200, and the 4 by 100 men's relay. He is dominated. And he's won, yeah. Running. He's the world record holder, Olympic record holder. He, he is like a... He's not human. When you watch him run, you're like, um, uh, we stand no chance. For you guys, whoever, uh, like, um, in his last one, which he's, I, I think he said publicly that this is his last this is Olympics. This is his last Olympics. He's going to compete at the World Championships, he said. Yeah. But this is his last Olympics. And he has, uh, he, him and, uh, like, the grass kind of have a, like, a, like, a, he, a bromance. Yeah, a bromance. The, the, calling the newspapers it. are calling yeah. it a bromance. Um, and there's been pictures of, like, in their semifinal of the 200 of them kind of, like, laughing, running across the line. But when you watch Usain Bolt run, it's he jogs the last 50 meters of it almost every race. And you're like, this guy's a machine. You can't beat him. So, like, so you're it, racing for second place um, when he's so, running. So, okay, in, in one of the races, uh, he knew where the camera was. Uh, that they take a photo at. So here's the group of runners, right? You know, they're all like this. And here's him, right here, just so far ahead. He, and he turned to the camera and gave them a great smile. Yeah, he, and it was an amazing photo. But, like, holy crap. Like, you know, in... Uh, I, I know this, that in the hundred... Any running it's a game uh, it's a game of milliseconds thousands thousands of seconds uh, uh, thousands of a second can determine a winner let's just put it and this, this guy is a second yeah. ahead of people and it's just like yeah he's like let's put it this way yesterday the men are sorry Friday <laughs> the men because uh, it's Saturday we record on Saturdays yeah. we haven't kept them. Um, the men's 4 by 100 final went and um, Jamaica obviously won because Usain Bolt, like, yeah, 
superhuman. And uh, the the there was one tenth of a or two tenths of a second separating second to fourth. <laughs> and let's let, let just to give you a, a grasp on why Andre de Grasse is now stake this claim. When Canada came out of their their last exchange, Canada was about fifth or sixth, and he was a, he got them to fourth place. But the U.S. got disqualified for a uh, a handoff violation, so we ended up getting the bronze medal. Oh, um, if okay. DeGrasse would have had two more meters of track, he would have ran down the Japanese for second place. Oh, this wow. is how fast he is, and this is this is what I'm saying is that the Olympics. We'll see who he is, and yeah, we'll read headlines and we'll see on the TSN website. We'll see tweets of oh, DeGrasse wins a world championship, but we won't see it on TV. No. Is that something I want to see on TV? Probably. Uh, because we, I've seen like how fast this kid is. This kid, he's 21 years old. He hasn't he hasn't matured. His body hasn't matured yet. You know, when you're 21, you 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 haven't got your man strength. To put it in perspective, you're hitting that strength. Your though. Usain Bolt, his first Olympics, he didn't even make it out of the heats. And his very first attempt, oh, I think in 2000 <laughs> 2004, I think they were saying 2004. Yeah, four 2004. He didn't even make it out of the heats. So, and then he came to the next Olympics and dominated. And dominated. And, and he's dominated for 12 years. Yeah, over 12 and, years. So, DeGrasse in 2020 will be 25 years old. He'll have his man strength. Imagine. I think he will. He will be pushing Usain Bolt's world record. Good. That's awesome. Um, so, so to to sit there and to see an athlete like that and go, holy fuck, he's Canadian. And I knew who he, I knew who he was. Before the I never heard about him before the Olympics, actually. I knew who he was, and I was like, okay, this is probably... But I didn't realize how fast he was. I did not have any clue that he was as good as he is. And he is fast. Like, unbelievably fast. I was like, holy crap. Like, when when they were running the men's 200, you, Bolt was obviously in another world. But then, he wasn't too far behind. I think he was like a tenth, a tenth of a second behind Bolt or something like that. You know what I mean? It's like, so and, this and, kid is going to be... And here's the thing. You're talking about Bolt being a world champion, an Olympic champion, going to this guy, going, you're going to be as good as me. He actually said that. He said that... Um, Watch like, out for this guy. He's going to be as good as me. I, I run, he, he, he said that he runs like him. Yeah. He's and, just and, not and as... And it's just like, it, it would be like Wayne Gretzky walking up to a kid and going, you're going to be as good as me. Like, I bet you um, this Canadian fellow looks, he's watched Bolt. And, you know, if Bolt's been doing this for 16 years. Having the go to the greatest of all time say that you. You're going to be like me. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. That, that, and that def- is why you have, this is what the Olympic Games are about. This is those little moments that you have. Yes, he's the first m- m- male. He's the first athlete, Canadian athlete to have three track and field medals um, in a long for like since like 1930 okay crap in a long <laughs> in long years, time yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean and it's like f- and this is what I mean like I think we need to showcase these things like I watched high jump because I actually watched the high jump because it's like we won gold in high yeah. jump like what I had no idea I check on this I had no idea that he was the world champion no not we had a world champion in pole vault no idea oh, he didn't wow. do so great he he kind of choked mm. Unfortunately, it we had so. we had the world number one. We had the ranked number one in the world um, decathlete or het ta- decathlete. Oh, t- tetra. Um, the, yeah, the, the seven fees and eaten. Oh, heptathlon. Heptathlon. She was yeah, the, she was ranked number one in the world, and we don't know I that. I didn't even know this. Like you know, you have to dig to find these things. If on a and it, yeah, if it wasn't for the Olympics, we wouldn't know this. So I'm like saying, like after the Olympics, why don't we start the TSN show? Sports, yeah. These show the things, world championships. Show, yeah. show people this because you know what? Um, can, uh, Let us have has some a very, pride. Let us have some pride yeah. in Canada because I had no idea that we did so well at the World like, Track and Field like, World well, Championships. I was like, Jesus Christ. When we were going into these Olympics, I heard the Canadian Olympic C- Committee saying we, our goal is 19 medals. I'm like, 19 doesn't sound that bad. They Considering right now the Americans have 105. You know, it's just like. 105, and we're aiming for 19? Like, come on. But you got to put it in perspective, 350 million, 35 million. No, no, okay, yeah, you put it in perspective, and on top of that, uh, the fun- Americans actually pay Yeah, they find their, yeah. Well, so do we, Canada, we give our, 
only just started doing this. Yeah, show. we we give our medal winners like money, but. We it, only just started yeah, it's doing not it. In, the, in the states, uh, medal winners make double, three times what we're paying our ass. We have right some now, stupid so. rules. They have stupid rules of if you're like a like an NCAA or a college level athlete, you're not allowed to take money. And if you take money, you have to go pro and stuff like that. And it's oh, it kind of sucks because if you're an athlete, like you got um, somebody like this penny, this penny girl or swimmer who's won four medals. She can't. She can't take. She can't take advantage of this if she wants to go to college. She can't if she wants to go NCAA and compete in like swimming in college. She can't take advantage of like being sponsored or anything yeah, like that because she's not allowed and, to. And that's a horrible thing. And that's horrible. Like okay, it's a, it's a good and a bad. Well, thing. yeah, it, it's good because you give a sense of it. it the the plan, the playing field is fair. Yeah, a little bit more fair, but. We okay, should be able to reward these people yeah. who work so hard. Yeah. Like Canadian athletes do it because they love it. American athletes do it because they love it, and they can make a lot of money. Like Michael Phelps. Oh, he's it's rich the, beyond belief. Well, this the Degra- That's not the Degrassi. He's pro. He went pro. Okay. Um, and he makes money now. He mm-hmm. like has sponsorships and stuff like that. So he, I'm sure he's doing well for himself. But he had to make the decision of: Do I go pro or do I? Stay the college route, and he went. He decided to go pro, hmm. which is fine. Whatever, I don't care. You know, like um, the Olympics to me for two weeks or whatever, however long they are. I I tune into summer, winter, you know, because um, I like it, and it gets me interested in other sports. I was watching some badminton last night. That was pretty cool. <laughs> These people are insane. Professional badminton players are insane. Like Table that. tennis. Oh my goodness. Oh, is it an actual sport? The win. Chinese are great at it. Yeah. They're... The the gold medal men's final was two Chinese people, and I was like, these guys are insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, the Olympics are fun. There's been some controversy, obviously. There's been that Ryan Lochte guy saying he got robbed. and it turned oh, the off. fake robbery? He yeah, I just heard out. about that, actually. He got turned turned out that he was faking the whole thing. Um, I think he should be banned. I think he should be banned from any... any he, it should be, you're thrown out. You're yeah. not allowed to swim. You're not allowed to compete in any sanctioned events anymore. You're done. Yeah. yeah. But that won't happen. There's been the uh, doping scandals from Russia where half their team got, s- s- their whole track team got suspended. Uh, yeah. And then just and before then the Olympics were being One held. got let back in and then got suspended again or yeah. something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why didn't you just, and then the Paralympic Committee throws out the whole Russian team for this doping thing. And I'm like, well, doesn't that make you look stupid, IOC? Because you're you let just let the Russians compete and just shows it's it's about money. There's been um, um, uh, controversy in boxing. Uh, uh, one judge got tossed, told to go home. Yeah, I, I didn't read it. I saw a headline, and it's like somebody is making a complaint because they said that the judge uh, made a political decision. And all 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 amateur boxers are like, yeah, this happened, and it's like they've just kind of go this is what we have to deal with because this is the way it is nothing's going to change and it's true because money talks especially in big federations like that like well, the IOC the FIFA, FIFA. Uh, stuff like that it, like the, it, the Olympic Committee like honestly Russia uh, when they had the Sochi Winter Olympics um, they bought the Olympics they built a city um, the city is now abandoned yeah, and the city that they had built, like, because I actually knew, knew a guy who went, and he said it was a shitty, shitty place. Well, it's like, like in, in read hasty Russian construction, because you know, you know, we all heard stories about how bad Russia is when it comes to actually building stuff. Yeah, well, it, they did it at the Olympics, and honestly, like. What I remember about the Winter Olympics was Russia was in, like, fourth or fifth for medals on, like, the third or fourth last day. And then all of a sudden they they shot up to second. And it's just like, how the hell did they win so many medals in such a short time? Yeah, you're hearing, oh, they cheated. And it's like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, there's there's always controversy behind it, uh, behind all Olympics and stuff like that. And um, to me, I, I don't know, is it worth having the Olympics? We talked a little bit. Calgary's looking at having the 2026, I think, um, Olympic Winter Olympic Games here, and uh, I think I don't. the Olympics, yes, are a great event to have, but the host country should be one of those places that can actually afford to do it. Yeah, you know, as bad I'd as put it in like a poor place, like Rio. Rio should not have had them. They they were in no that money should have been better spent. Yeah. 
keeping people. Yeah, you don't need new stadiums when you could use it to help poverty and stuff like that. Like if you had them here in Calgary, we already have the facilities. Like our our, our Olympic Oval would be is, upgraded. Is still is still even now you upgraded. Could, you could yeah. yeah. You know we still have ski jump. We still have bobsleigh tracks that are uh, used ski for ski jump would be moved because apparently they could, they would actually fly over. The, uh, oh really? Oh, I, yeah. I don't know. From what I heard, is that the ski jump would actually have to be moved to a different location right. to accommodate the farther distance that the that the Olympic jumpers but, do now. Like our skiing, we already have a ski venue not too far away, Lake Louise Sunshine or wherever they. But they hold hold events there for world championships and stuff All like the that. Time, so, yeah. Like we have the infrastructure already in place. Like even Vancouver, for example, they didn't have the infrastructure, but they could build it, and they and they still redid use it. whole sections of a city yeah. to you know make it better, redo it. Yeah. It's like it was a city improvement. Whereas in Rio, there was no city improvement. And honestly, oh, I, what is what's going to happen to everything after yeah. it's all gone? Well, you look at most things, and, and it's like you look at. I think when did Athens hold the Olympics? I can't remember, but it was Reese, uh, it was recent. It well, was probably in the two thousands, right? Yeah, yeah. And you look at their venues, and there's pictures of them today, and they're decrepit. They're decrepit. They're just collecting dust. They're not being used for anything. The, they and it's were, like, they stopped being used like, as soon within as a month. Yeah, after like, the games are done. Yeah, and it's like, why are why are you doing this? Mm-hmm. Why are you wasting money to do this? That's why I think the Olympics should be just in, like, say, six places. And they just rotate through six places. I think that you shouldn't have them in places like like Rio. You shouldn't have them in places like um, like their the next one, Winter Games are in Korea. Korea, okay, no, no, no. Korea, I can kind of understand is like you know they're trying to make themselves like Korea is actually on the medal list in the top ten right now. South Korea. South yes. Korea, but well, that's where it's going to be. Is South yeah, yeah. Korea? So Obviously. you know, <laughs> like North the... Korea would have the Olympics. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> North Korea wins everything because no other country came. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. But yeah. So you know, Korea, they're they're trying to make themselves more pronounced. So it, that you could see an effort, and it's not like South Korea is a. Um, I just want them in my times so I can watch them. I don't want to, because I remember they when they were in Sochi, I had to get up at what three five or something in the morning to watch the gold medal hockey game, and I was like, "Why do I want to do this? Is it worth it? Of course yes. it is. Of course it is. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, Barry. Keep telling yourself. Hey, hey, hey! Did not bars allow? They did make an exception to the rule that they were allowed yep. to serve alcohol at that time in the morning yeah. for the Olympics. They did that. That was that was kind of neat, actually. I think the cool thing about this Olympics, though, is that. And each each Olympics, it seems that Canada is getting better, and we've, it's good. I'm, I'm we so bloody tired. Yeah, we were we're we're always we always when when we win a bronze medal, we're very excited. We are, and okay, we're happy should, to win should, a medal. Should we be happy? Of course we should. But I think we should still. Me personally, I think we should still try strive for gold. Like, oh, definitely. Like, Okay, in the running, I'm always like, we're not going to be bold. In the 200 final, I'm like, we're not going to beat them. Like, my wife was like, oh, you're so pessimistic. Yeah, I'm okay, like, but and I'm we like, can run on. for second at least. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> Everybody knows it's a race for second place. We know that. But now we know, okay, I want to see how he does now. From now until the next Olympics. Is he is he going to peak before the Olympics, or is his next Olympics going to be the start of the Canadian new Canadian yeah. reign? Is is, is he going to be the next U- Usain Bolt? Um, when I grew up, it was Donovan, Donovan Bailey. 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 He's and, a, he's he's talking at the Olympics. He's like he's super excited for this kid. And, it's awesome because the Canada was so proud when he won gold, and then he, they won gold in the relay because. He the, he was part of the team. The whole well, the we whole were, team like they uh, cremated the Americans back in '96, and it was great. And it, what was really great was they actually had a uh, um, uh, U.S. versus American uh, um, gladiator challenge. You know, they they set up a, a track and field event. F- what Canadians well, versus Americans? Well, because of what they had was because year. Michael Johnson and Donovan Bailey. Right? Usually, the the the, the winner of the 100 meters is the fastest man in the world that he's had yeah. that title and michael johnson won the 200 meters and the the americans were like we have the fastest man in the world oh yeah so the, we the, we kind of went well 
No, screw we do. you. We're gonna race you in a 150 meter race. So they built a track in the, in the Sky Dome at the time. And what happened is that Michael Johnson and, and okay, Michael Johnson was a 200 meter runner, not a 100 meter. Bailey was a 100 meter, not a 200. So they ran 150 meters. And they compromised. And here was the thing: it's like the fast, the title of fastest man always went to the winner of the hundred meter. Always, is the two hundred meter was pretty much ignored. Yeah. So the Americans, they didn't win the one hundred meter. The Canadians did. Yeah. So they and were like, they, well, "We're the fastest man," because we, Michael Johnson won the two and the four hundred or something. Yeah. Shit. So they're and like, "We got the fastest." So man. we like, went into this no. race at, at Sky Dome, and Michael Johnson hurt himself coming out of the bend. Of the 150 meter, and Donovan Bailey won. And um, in an interview, he said he didn't hurt himself. He's a chicken shit. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, that's the greatest thing ever. It was yes. great, but, but it was then also had, very uncanadian. Then he had to apologize for calling him a chicken. And I was like, why are you doing that? It's the truth. Uh, okay. Now, now, in his defense, when you are interviewed immediately after something, you have adrenaline pumping through you. You know, you tend to just say you know whatever, what? yeah, but yeah. I think he was right in saying what he said. No, I, I totally agree. Yeah, and that's... But it, the apology, because he, he came across with no tact? Nah. I, you know, I, that's, that's the one thing that bothers me about sport. is like that, And that's one thing I like about the Olympics, is because it's amateurs, right? It's yes. not professionals. Well, there are professionals because of basketball and hockey, and I'm fine with that, whatever, I don't care. But, uh... You see raw emotion. Yep. And when you, you interview these people, these people have worked for four damn years to get to this spot. And if they don't succeed, it's like, oh my God, this is crushing. And you see that. You see tears. You see happiness. And, and you see raw emotion when they're being interviewed. And that's what I love. And it's like you see that they're happy. So, okay, for the Canadian high jumper, you know, we were watching him. He did his five sets. And we were like, me and the kids were amazed because just how high he was going. And... It was like, okay, the next guy's up, you know, he has to clear it, right? And the guy jumps, he hits the bar, and they go to the Canadian, and you know you can see two emotions on his face. Two, at the same time. One, I just won the gold medal. Holy shit. And two, I feel bad for that guy because he just failed. You see these two emotions, and you see the conflict in him going because he wants to celebrate he just won gold but he feels horrible for fellow competitor because they didn't that, do well i think that that sometimes like yes i agree in sportsmanship and yes you he should feel bad but at the same time i think he should have celebrated he his his accomplishment has been succeeded and not to take away from the guy who finished in second place because yep. that's great as well yep you know what i mean um to medal in the olympics is amazing it means you're one of the best in the world. Okay. To medal at the World Championships is great, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like, um, I think when we're, like, as Canadians, we're kind of, we're all very, like, reserved. We're all very, like, I don't want to celebrate, I don't want to be happy, but I think that we can we can let out a little big yeah. hoorah. I, I think know? that's what we need, is these Olympics, these few Olympics, ever since, past like, few have been great, and I think we should celebrate yeah, that. We, we should celebrate that we're, 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 we're champions. We're doing We're well. We're doing very well. All these people who have won medals. Should they should be, be celebrated. Yes, you know, they should be walk, celebrated. When they walk into that airport, there should be a group of people going, Ooh. Yeah, and I'm sure there will be. I'm sure there will be. I hope so. Because they deserve it. And they should be spotlighted more. And, yes. You know, when, if there's like a big swimming world championships, why are we not showing it on television? Or even on the internet. If, if that's what big networks want to do, show it on the internet because they don't want to put huge production value into it, fine, do there that. There you go. TSN. Sportsnet, do it. Out. Like, like, show us the World Tra- Track and Field Championships yeah. next year. Yeah. For the next three, four years leading up to Tokyo. Because we want to see this DeGrasse kid. We want to see these Canadian track guys. Like I, I said, don't want to forget about these people. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be like, people oh, are yeah. like, Like, learning about these people, like, even though I haven't been watching, I have been learning that these people exist. And, you know, this 16-year-old swimmer who's won four medals at the game? Yeah. Like, amazing. Um, uh, the, the 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 women's Canadian soccer team, like they're amazing. They only won bronze, but you know what? They won bronze again. Considering uh, no Canadian team has ever qualified for the World Cup, they won bronze. Well, they've been in the Women's World Cup, I think. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure they have. I don't know. I know the men. We have, our men's soccer team is okay. horrible, but our women's soccer team is great. And, and, and they should be just a quick little thing to all the female competitors out there that have just been showing men how it's done. Keep up the good work. Yeah, because it's been great. You know, I've been, been hearing a lot about the women in the Olympics and good on them. You know, Let's it goes look. to show that women are. Let's not forget in in trampoline we have a two time gold medalist. And a world the last champion. two Olympic gold medals, this woman, this Rosie woman, Rosie McLean, McLennan, two time Olympic champion. Yeah, nobody's done that. She's the first one in traveling to do that. <laughs> so, like, um, look at that. We should be proud of that, and we should yeah. be like, yes, yes. And th- this, this, our track team, yes. We're we're young. We're we're gonna compete, and we're gonna be great for a long time. It's very exciting to see, and I want to see more of it. I want to see more of it. I really do. Because I want to not necessarily watch it myself, but I do want to hear about it. Yeah, I want because I'm so sick of Canadian like, public to have I'm, a little pride. I'm so sick of it. like looking at my social media and seeing bullshit about politics and people being murdered and kids dying, and I'm, I'm, I want to see more. Hey, like my my Twitter feed is full of Olympics because I follow a lot of sports things and stuff like that, so it's good. I'm enjoying it. You know what I mean? I want to see more front page news of, hey, we're great, Canadian flags, woohoo. You know what I mean? Like, if you win a world championship, it should be on the front page of the damn newspaper. Or it should be at least on the front page of the sports section. It should be the Maybe number the- one thing. Like, if, if, if say, De- say DeGrasse and our four by and all of our athletes in track go, go to the world championship next year and, do and well. they f- kill it, and we come home and we're like champions. It should be all over the news. It should be like that. Should be like breaking number one story. You know what I mean? High jump world champion. Like like we said, we had no idea that Derek Druan was a world champion last year. I didn't even I had know. No he, clue. I knew high jump was in the Olympics. They but. showed a segment. He was sitting in a in an airport or something like that, and he had people come up to him and be like, "Do you know who I am?" And you're a uh, this, 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 and this, a world champion was, like, one of them, right? And nobody had any idea. Like, there was a few people who were like, you're a world champion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other people were like, whoa. And that's that's what I'm talking That's what we're talking about, you know? It's like, these people should be celebrated. <laughs> yeah. You know what kidding. I mean? And Show some love. Yeah. Show some love for these people who put a lot of hard work in for four Could you four. imagine putting... Uh, have you ever put four years of your life into something? Well, other than work. Well, that's what I mean. Like, these people, this is their life. Yeah. Everybody who does, like, who competes in amateur sports is, like, a four-year cycle. That's that's their mindset, a four-year cycle. And you're like, Jesus Christ, I can't believe we're doing so well at Summer Olympics because we only have, like, two weeks of summer in Canada. <laughs> you know? Um, we have 21 medals, guys, as of, well, it's Saturday. Yeah. And we have um, a chance for some more. Um, when the Olympics started, I don't know if I made the prediction, but... Uh, I said we were going to do over 19. I think so. I think that's um, exactly what you said. I said that we were going to do better than we did in London, and we have, so yeah, I mean, pat my back. <laughs> and good on those people who actually did the work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for making me look good. Uh, Don't thanks forget. Thanks for uh, joining us yes. this time. Uh, you can uh, follow us on... Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, guys. Yes. Don't forget to... All, all the social media That's stuff. right. All I that mean, social YouTube, media. Facebook. Twitter. We got them all. Mm-hmm. Except Snapchat. We don't have Snapchat, guys. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's confounding. So don't but send us unsolicited dick pics. No. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great one. See ya.